everyone, this is Coach Megan here at Bonita Bay Club with a quick video on how they figure out the speed of the greens here at the club. I was able to get together with one of the assistant superintendents today and he used the USGA certified stint meter to find out how fast the greens were. At our club, they are published on one of the signs. The higher the number is, the faster the greens are that day. The lower the number is, the slower they are that day. Just make those adjustments as you see that number change throughout the week and throughout the season. Now that's not the only factor that they look at. One of the insights I thought was really cool that he shared with me is that Megan, green speed is only one of the four things that we look at. We also look at how true the greens are, how firm the greens are, and how smooth the greens are. And green speed is just one of the components of all those put together. So next time you're out playing, Remember, this is how they do the assessment, is they use a stint meter. You see here, where they put it on a flat surface and just see how far it rolls out. So if the grass was longer, or if there's more moisture on the green, it's going to not roll out as far as if it's cut down short and if it rolls out a little bit more. That's how they figure out the green speed every day. They use a USGA certified stint meter and they roll it down the stint meter and based on how far it rolls out, that's going to show you the stint that day. So if it rolls out to a 12, that means that it's a 12 stint and that means 12 feet of rollout. If it was a nine, that means that it only rolled out nine feet. So it didn't roll out as far because the greens weren't as fast. So that means that you need to make some adjustments when you're out there playing. If the green speeds are slower, you're gonna need to hit it a little bit more firmly and play less break. If the green speeds are faster, you're gonna need to play more break, which means that you're gonna allow it to break, which means you're gonna to have to hit it at a softer speed. The same thing goes for uphill and downhill. Now remember, this was based on a flat surface and it just rolled out. That's the controlled environment of the stim. But when you're playing on the course, you're gonna have some undulations which means that on the downhill putts, they're gonna be even faster. So you need to play more break and hit it softer. On an uphill putt, you need to play less break and hit it more aggressively. I hope this video helps you out. What do you think? Do you like putting on faster greens? Or do you feel more comfortable with greens that are more in like the 10, nine range? What's the stimp that you prefer? Make sure to comment down below. Thanks for watching my video and let me know what you think. Do you wanna see more videos like this? If you do, stay tuned, because Mrs. Buzz is in the house.